Hey guys, this is Quirky98, and today I am making a remake of my beta modding video. This is updated to 12.02, because the previous one was 12.01, so I kind of didn't say that before, and I'm sorry about that. I fixed it now, so now you guys know. And in this one, I made a new folder for you guys, so just get it in the link. And I'll just really quickly go into how to do this again. I just kind of updated it. So first of all, what you want to do is you still want to make sure you can view hidden files and folders. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch my other video, but it's pretty simple. All you do is just go into your control panel, type in hidden files and folders, and then when you find it, just make sure you can see them. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure you have a brand new bin folder. So you're just going to go start your user app data roaming dot minecraft and then you want to delete the bin click yes and that's all you have to do and just start up your minecraft log in and it'll re-download the packages for you so we'll just let this go through real fast All right, there we go. And it should start up as you see right there. And like I said, it's a modding 12 1.2 underscore 02. So just make sure that's the number you're working with right now if you're going to follow my guide real quick. And you can just exit out of that. Okay, so first step when you open my folder I have zero now this is for texture packs because I like a lot of people like running texture packs with minecraft so it's not quite as boring so when you open it up this will pop up and if you have a zip folder with all the texture packs in it it's really simple all you just do is check mark this and then you gotta find it and it'll normally be in your download section so just go to your user and then go into your downloads and I'm going to be running Mesa's HD texture pack because I'm really fond of it and it works really well so it'll automatically update that for you and just leave everything that's checkmarked checkmarked and click patch and there you go and I know people were having trouble with the other video. If it doesn't run, don't worry. It might have just been an accident or something that got messed up along the way. What you're going to want to do is just go step by step, and then when you finish each step, run Minecraft and see if it works. And that way I kind of know where you messed up if you're still having troubles, and I can help you out better. So just exit out of that. We'll go back. Step 1. This is the folder you want to add to dot .minecraft, much like it says. So you're going to want to go open a new computer thing. Here, go to your user, app data, roaming, dot .minecraft, and then this is where it goes, just in dot .minecraft. So you can drag it over. I'm going to copy and paste it. That way I don't lose it in the folder. And there you go. That's all you have to do. So just exit out of that. And now we're ready for step two. Again, this is another little patcher. You don't have to use it, but it is really nice because it'll allow you to do like better light and better grass. So you just want to check mark better light, better grass, and simple map because those are the ones I have in the mod folder for you guys. Then you want to go to where it says output right here, and you want to hit browse. And this one, you're going to go back into app data again. So just go into your user app data roaming dot minecraft and then you're going to want to go into the bin folder right here and you want to click the one that doesn't you want to click minecraft it's got to be an executable jar file like that this one is a backup that the MC patcher makes for you so don't worry about that one and then don't worry about that one you just want the one that just plainly says minecraft so just double click on that I'll ask if you want to replace just click yes then click patch 
And there we go. It's done with that. Now we're ready for step three. Step three is just a bunch of class files we're going to drag and drop into our Minecraft.jar. And for this, all you have to do is open up your Minecraft.jar in 7-zip or WinRAR, depending on what you prefer. I personally use 7-zip because it's free and it, it works really nicely. So you just want to go users, your username, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft, into the bin again, and you're going to click on the Minecraft.jar again, the plain one. And then this will come up. And it's just a lot of class files that they use to run the game. So all you have to do is go like this, select all of it, just drag it over, and then it'll ask if you want to confirm. Just click yes. It'll put everything in there for you. You don't have to worry about the, anything like that. So that's pretty much it. Step four, final class files. Again, just grab them, pull them over, and then click yes. And that's all that it, there really is to this one. I made it pretty short and simple for you guys here. I uh, don't have all the mods the last one had. I, I don't have the cape. And let's see what else I don't have. There's a few other ones. I'll try to remember them here. I'm going to pause the video now and start it up and kind of show you guys how to use these mods because they were changed around a bit. Alright guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys the mods real quick and how to use them all. So I guess, first of all, we'll start out with Zombies mods, because his are probably the ones you're going to be using the most. There is Flying, which all you have to do to fly is hit F, and up in the corner you'll see it says Flying. You use E to go up, Q to go down, and you hold Shift to go faster when you're going. So it's pretty pretty self-explanatory there. When you're done flying, just hit F, you'll, you'll just fall back down and it'll shut off. Another one, he is Builder. All you do is hit B, like that, and it'll say Builder in the top corner. And he changed this one around quite a bit, and um, I kind of like it now. All you have to do is hold left shift down, and then you're going to want to click a number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it will cycle through all the blocks he has. And then you can just go through them, and as long as Builder Mode's on, they're infinite. So that's that one. Just to sh And you can break instantly in this mode. I forgot to tell you that. So then just shut it off with B again. Another mod he has is you can control the time of day. You do this with plus. You can control it going positive. You can also go negative by hitting the minus sign. And then to get it back to normal, you just hit the equal sign. And it'll just put it back. And I have I have extended reach on this one again. So as you can see right here, I can hit that block way over there. It's 128 block reach. I It was the one that he had up, so I just took that one. And yeah. You still have cart control, where you control the cart as you normally would your body. You just move the carts based on how you normally would. And I think that's about all there really is to the mods. As you can see, the better grass right there, and better light, you can see by these torches over here. It doesn't look all blocky and chunky, it's kind of got more of a pleasant look to it, I guess you would say. Everything just kind of flows a lot better. I guess the final thing I wanted to show you guys was I have crystal clear water on, because when you're in water, it's just kind of a pain to see, so I made it so... I had a mod where you can see perfectly clear down here. It's not like you got that haze over your face, so to speak. But yeah, that's all there is. Just let me know if you guys have any problems. Just comment on the video, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Hopefully this helped you guys, and I'll be making more Minecraft videos. So if you guys want any tutorials or anything, just let me know. And that's about all. See you later.